Welcome back to the Voice of Mathematics. In our today's lesson, we are going to answer question 8 from 2011 Mathematics Past Paper 2. Question uh, and the question reads The diagram below is a trapezium OABC. M is the midpoint of AB or M and CA meet at X from O to A equals 4P from O to C equals 2Q and from C to B equals 2P and that is the interpretation of the question there yes and we are going to analyze this one on this question uh, in our vector analysis by answer answering the following questions express as simply as possible in terms of p and o q a from c to a Yes, uh, the question is if from C to A, and uh, this is how we are going to move. For us to go to A from C, we are going to go by this C O plus C O A. And then if we look at the, what we've been given there from C O, we have uh, 2q but since we are coming we are moving into the opposite direction we will put the negative q there uh -huh. and plus e 4p and then we have 2 open bracket 2p minus q close bracket as our final answer we go to the next question, which is from B to A. From B to A. How are we going to move? We are going to move from B to C. And then from C to O. And then from O to A. That's how we are going to move. Uh -huh. Got my answer there. We are going to move from B to C plus C, C to O plus C, O to A. And the magnitude we've been given there with regards to the direction, uh, negative 2P minus 2Q plus 4P. The negatives there is because we're moving to the opposite direction. So when we work that out we have 4p minus 2p minus 2q equals 2p minus 2q and the final answer there it is 2 open bracket p minus q close bracket we go to the following question which is c uh, from o to m how are we going to move from o to m okay for me i'm going to move in this direction from o to m i'll say i'll start from o to a and then a to m but we know to say m is the midpoint of a b or b a several ways so and we already we have already found b a so we are going to say m is just the midway uh of a b so uh to answer that one we're going to answer it in this way o m is equal to o a plus a m and then equals 4 p that's the magnitude there from o to m plus c half of b a which we've already found there yes and then we'll go to when we work it out 
we are going to expand it then multiply it by half uh, we are going to have 4p plus plus p minus q and 4p plus p that's 5p minus q as our final answer let's go to the next question the next question is given that cx is equal to h c a express c x in terms of p q and h so in our answer we should show that the, the answers we find of uh, letters p q and h and uh, we can answer that one in this way uh, cx is equal to hca we know but we already know that uh, we found the ca we already we found the values for ca so what we have to do is just to multiply h by what we found there for ca and uh, it is 2h open bracket 2p minus q as our answer let's go then to the last question for a for part a which is hence show that ox equals 4hp plus 2 open bracket 1 minus c h close bracket q so we have to show in our analysis for this uh, for this movement here to say ox ox there is equal to 4 hp plus 2 minus open bracket 1 minus h close bracket q so we are going to show that one of course we are going to answer it in this form uh, ox for us to move from O to X, we start from O to C, then from C to X. There, and then the magnitude, the magnitude will be given from O to C. It is two Q plus C X. We found it already. It is there. So when we add it to O to C, we are going to to find it in this way. And then that to and then there when we work it out from here, we group the like terms with regards to P and Q. Yes, and we have four H P plus. 2 open bracket q minus hq close bracket and we can see to say there the q there is common and so we take it out when we take it out we take it out, out as we have been told earlier we were taught there to say q must be to the right so we we'll say 4 hp plus 2 open bracket 1 minus h close bracket q as our final answer has shown so the answer here is found that's why we've even written there hence shown uh, just like we were told to answer in the first place here so this is where we can end for today's lesson thank you so much listeners and viewers of this program it has been the voice of mathematics. May God bless you all. Bye.